Hey everyone, welcome back to the Prime 5, the five biggest Nintendo news stories in the last 24 hours. Hours. Oh, and we have a giveaway going on right now as well. You guys can head into the pinned comment for details on that. Let's not waste any more time and let's get right into the news. You are watching Nintendo Prime, and at this channel on Monday through Friday, we drop five videos going over the five latest stories in the last 24 hours revolving around Nintendo, the biggest of those stories. We also, on the weekends, end up dropping other types of content, including unboxings and Prime Answers episode that goes out every single Saturday where we answer all of your questions. Questions. If you enjoy Nintendo news and you want to get the latest updates, all you need to do is subscribe to Nintendo Prime. So this Thursday at 9.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, we are going to be getting a Nintendo Treehouse Live for Splatoon 3 and Harvest Stella. There's going to be three segments to this. The first one's going to be dealing with a deep dive into the single player for Splatoon 3. The second segment's going to be all about tips, strategies, and stages for this weekend's upcoming Splatoon 3 Splatfest happening on Saturday. And then the third one's going to be the world premiere gameplay for Harvest Stella. I'm really looking forward to this Nintendo Treehouse Live. Still not sure if we're gonna be live streaming it at this time. And let's get into our next story. And this story is about Sonic Frontiers. So there was opening night live at Gamescom and there was a bunch of news from there. We got a couple segments from it we're gonna be using for today, but, but the biggest one for Switch Runners deals with Sonic Frontiers. There was a brand new trailer and a reveal of a release date. Now the release date technically leaked a little earlier, but it's still leaked within the last 24 hours. So hey, Whatever, they announced at the end of this trailer, it's coming out November 8th. Sonic Frontiers is looking better than ever. This is probably the best trailer they've shown to date. And it feels weird to say, but I'm actually excited for Sonic Frontiers. And I'm about to lay down that pre-order. And if you're interested in pre-ordering as well, head down to the description or the pinned comment. I'll put some links in there for you guys to get your pre-orders in. This next story is really, really simple, really quick. The Game Awards. Do you guys remember the Game Awards? Well, the ninth annual Game Awards is happening this year on December 8th. Yes, we will have an event built around that. There will be giveaways at our event, live reactions to the Game Awards, betting specials, punishments, uh, the Wheel of Death, and so much more. So we got a big event planned around this, but yeah, the Game Awards is coming back, hosted by Jeff Keighley. Nintendo's usually part of this event, either winning awards or presenting games. They've presented several games in the past and won many, many awards. So hey, maybe even a shot at Breath of the Wild 2 at this one. So let's look forward to this show. So Sony unveiled a brand new controller during Gamescom and it's called the DualSense Edge. Let's just get into the details. So today we are thrilled to unveil the DualSense Edge wireless controller for PlayStation 5, the first ever high performance ultra customizable controller developed by Sony Interactive Entertainment. Designed to give you an edge in gameplay by allowing you to create custom controls, the DualSense Edge wireless controller invites you to craft your own unique game experience tailored to your play style. The DualSense Edge wireless controller features a number of hardware and software based customization options for creating and completely customizing controlled experiences, including ultra customizable controls. You can make the DualSense Edge wireless controller uniquely yours by remapping or deactivating specific button inputs and fine tuning your aim by adjusting stick sensitivity and dead zones, the distance your analog stick moves before it recognizes it in game. In addition, each trigger is adjustable with options to tailor travel distance and dead zones for your preference. For example, you can manually reduce travel distance of the triggers for faster inputs in competitive FPS or or reduce dead zone for precise throttle control in racing games. Ability to save multiple control profiles. Once you find your ideal control settings, you can save them to unique profiles and swap them on the fly. With the DualSense Edge wireless controller, you'll always have your preferred controls for your games ready to go, whether you're facing Norse gods and monsters in God of War Ragnarok or, or rival players in an online battle royale. On controller user interface, the dedicated FN button allows you to easily adjust your setup while staying focused on the in-game action. Quickly swap between your preset profiles, adjust game volume and chat balance and access the control profile settings menu to set up and test new control iterations while in game. There are changeable stick caps and back buttons. Three types of swappable stick caps, standard, high dome, and low dome, help you stay comfortable in game while maintaining grip and stability. Two swappable sets of back
back buttons, half dome and lever can be configured to be any other button input, putting your essential controls at your fingertips. There are replaceable stick modules, so you can play longer with the ability to fully replace each individual stick module on the controller and replacement stick modules will be sold separately. There's a built-in DualSense wireless controller features. The, the, the DualSense Edge wireless controller retains the signature comfort and immersion of the DualSense wireless controller when playing supportive games, including haptic feedback, adaptive controls, built-in microphone, and motion controls, and more. In addition to including stick cast and backbone, the DualSense wireless controller comes with a USB Type-C braided cable, which is used to connect the housing to lock in the controller, so much less likely to slip out at a crucial moment. The included carrying case, which keeps your DualSense Edge wireless controller and components together and organized in one place, allows you to charge the controller via USB connection while it's stored in the case. In the months ahead, we look forward to sharing more details on the DualSense Edge wireless controller, including launch timing, and we can't wait to see the PS5 community unlocking the full potential of the controller's customizable options. All that came off the official PlayStation blog post for this item. Also notable that they don't actually include, well, a price. So price is obviously still up for debate but hey you know what it is a better controller supposedly for playstation at least it gives you more options so that's always good stop the presses holy crud guys nintendo direct in september no way are you serious is this really a thing am i do i even know what my name is anymore what am i yelling about okay Let's be honest here, a Nintendo Direct coming in September is probably expected, a general Direct at that, but nothing's guaranteed in life until it's actually announced. Well, Nate Drake is out there doing his talk, he did a podcast a week ago, and he's been reiterating on Twitter, replying to people, and also in a massive thread over on Family Boards, that yes, he knows about a Direct that is happening next month. Now, this Direct he thinks is a general Direct, he's not 100% sure, he just knows there will be a Direct of some type coming next month, and he's tired of people actually doubting him because they said, oh, is it possible you confused this Nintendo Direct coming quote unquote soon with the Nintendo Treehouse? And he's like, no, what are you talking about? Of course I didn't. That's a real dumb arse thing to accuse me of, but you know what, people say a lot of dumb crap at times online. So, hey look, a Nintendo Direct next month I think is just what the Nintendo fan has ordered. I think we've been waiting really since February for another General Direct so we can get a whole bunch of news at once, because if you don't care about Splatoon 3, or you don't care about Bayonetta 3, or you don't care about, I don't know, Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp, there's probably something else in that advertising bit of general goodness that is probably for you. So we all are excited for another General Direct, and hey look, it's September, it's coming up, and the Nintendo Direct rumors are starting up again, but at least this time they're starting up by the same person who helped start them up back in June about the Partner Showcase Direct, and he was dead spot on about that, so hey look, he nailed that, so let's give him some credit here, you know, maybe we're getting a General Direct next month, we can only hope. Anyways, folks, that's going to do it for today's Prime 5. Not as many jokes today, but you know what? I ain't got something funny to say every day because sometimes I just got to get right into the news. And now that we're done with the news, I will catch you guys on another episode of the Prime 5 tomorrow.